All right, now I'll go through the settings of the Aspire One. But first, I'll show you how long it takes to boot up. And I'll push the button now. And it's up. All right, the settings are right down here. We have display, power center, network center, audio, system, date and time, touchpad, live update, printer, input languages, and user password. Um, display doesn't really offer much. Um, it's just this window, no real options. Power center shows you how much battery power is left and your power options and you can make a new profile if you want to adjust those op options but um, I don't believe there are that many options here I could try But as you can see, this is pretty much all you can adjust. So, I'll just delete that. Uh, Network Center allows you to um, adjust your uh, wired LAN or wireless. Unfortunately, the Aspire 1 does not have 802.11n, but G will do. It's cheaper. Audio. Let's see, adjust the sound of each speaker, recording, and the options in which you can adjust which microphone to use the um, included mic or a microphone you plug into the microphone jack. Of course, you can adjust the volume by holding FN and pressing up or down arrow keys. Um, the keyboard is labeled as such as well and it will show this little display there but um, the system shows system information um, as you can see this is the 8 gigabyte model with only 512 megabytes of RAM but it's running perfectly fine on Linux um, no slowdowns at all so I'm considering just keeping with 512 since um, you do have to remove the keyboard and the case and the motherboard to get to the RAM there is no RAM slot on the bottom it's a multimedia, the networks and help and finally we have date and time where you can adjust the date and time. Um, it came almost correct. It was a day off and a couple minutes off, but um, it's pretty much the same as um, Windows XP in this regard. These mouse buttons are really slim. They're difficult to press. But if you tap, you'll be all right. I'll just say I'm in New York for now. Touchpad options allow you to adjust the sensitivity. Um, this is for um, touch sensitivity, so if it's low you have to press down really hard uh, tapping of course I have that on because the, the buttons aren't that great they're pretty loud and they're really skinny and hard to reach um, scrolling of course I'm not really sure what circular scrolling is but um, 
I guess I'll find out eventually. Acceleration is already very low, but it, the acceleration is really fast, so that works for me. Um, live update allows you to update the software. As soon as I turned it on the first time, it said there was an update available, and it went ahead and downloaded it and restarted. Printer. Um, I don't have a printer connected, and I don't think I will. <laughs> um, but I'm sure I could find Linux drivers for my Lexmark. Lexmark is usually good about Linux drivers. Um, languages you can change. the front end language and all these things um, it's pretty cool I guess and finally user password and you just change password and I believe the password you set on here is the root password as well so if you need to get into the advanced mode and do that and that's what you use and that's that I'll show advanced mode in another video <laughs>